Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Worldwide Immigration News, we hope you all doing great. Well, in this episode, we are going to talk about the latest IRCC updates, Canada welcoming more French-speaking immigrants in 2024. To get all the information, pay attention and watch the video through to the end. Please hit like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell for upcoming videos. Without further delay, let's get into the topic. In an important step to support its linguistic diversity and cultural heiress, Canada has announced to welcome 26,100 new French-speaking immigrants in 2024, excluding the province of Quebec. This francophone immigration target is part of Canada's Immigration Levels Plan 2024-2026, to revealed on November 1, 2023, by Immigration Refugees and Citizenship Canada, IRCC. IRCC's Francophone Immigration Target In the year 2025, the Francophone, French-speaking, immigration target raised to 31,500, moreover, it will further surge to 36,000 in the year 2026. This key measure highlights Canada's commitment to bilingualism and its recognition of the valuable contributions that French-speaking immigrants can make to the nation's social and economic landscape. The decision to target French-speaking immigrants line up with Canada's broader goals of fostering a more inclusive and multilingual society. By actively encouraging the inflow of individuals fluent in French, the Canadian government aims to enhance the linguistic mosaic of the country, reflecting its status as a bilingual nation, with English and French as official languages. This initiative holds particular importance, as it extends beyond the province of Quebec, traditionally recognized as a predominantly French-speaking region. The intent is to scatter the growth of French-speaking communities across the Maple Leaf Country, endorsing a more widespread and dynamic integration of linguistic diversity. French language proficiency can help obtain Canada PR visa. Raising the Francophone immigration target in Canada not only reflects the country's commitment to linguistic diversity, but also presents a momentous opportunity for immigration aspirants seeking permanent residency. Canada places a strong stress on bilingualism, with French being one of its official languages alongside English. As the government targets to lure a higher number of French-speaking immigrants, individuals possessing a decent proficiency in the French language stand to benefit. Those aspiring to immigrate to Canada can enhance their chances of receiving a permanent residency, PR, invitation, by showing their proficiency in both English and French. A strong command of the French language contributes to the Comprehensive Ranking System, CRS, score, a crucial factor in the Express Entry System, making applicants more competitive and enhancing their probability of receiving an invitation to apply for PR. Category-Based Selection of Francophone Candidates Recently launched category-based selections by IRCC hold separate category-based draws to invite French-speaking candidates only from the express entry system. In such Francophone-specific express entry draws, the CRS score requirement or cut OFF offer remains relatively low compared to the regular all-program express entry system draws. Hence, the candidates who are proficient in French or learning the French language has great opportunity to obtain the invitation to apply for Canadian Permanent Resident Visa in the forthcoming Express Entry Draws. Overview of Canada's Immigration Programs Economic immigration, which is a major driver of Canada's economic growth, accounts for more than half of planned admissions through the Multi-Year Levels Plan. Nearly half of projected economic admissions will be through the Federal Express Entry System programs. The Federal Skilled Worker, FSW, program. The Federal Skilled Trades Class, FSTC. The Canadian Experience Class, CC. Canada's Provincial Nominee Program, PNP, also plays an important role in terms of economic immigration. This program allows participating Canadian provinces and territories to nominate eligible immigration candidates who match local workforce needs for permanent residents. The following are immigration programs included in Canada's Multi-Year Immigration Levels Plan. Economic Programs 
Federal Skilled Worker, FSW, program. This express entry managed program is for immigrants with the requisite education, work experience, proficiency in English or French, and other skills need to establish themselves economically in Canada. Federal Skilled Trades Class, FSTC. The express entry managed Federal Skilled Trades Class is for foreign workers with qualifications in a skilled trade. Canadian Experience Class, CC. The Canadian Experience Class is managed by the Express Entry System and welcomes expressions of interest from foreign workers with Canadian work experience or recent graduates of Canadian educational institutions working in Canada. Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program, AIPP. The Atlantic Immigration Pilot allows designated Atlantic employers to recruit and hire foreign skilled workers or international graduates in the Atlantic Canada region, Newfoundland and Labrador, Prince Edward Island, Nova Scotia, and New Brunswick. Caregivers Program Canada allows eligible foreigners caring for children and people with high medical needs the opportunity to apply for Canadian permanent residence. Federal Business, Startup Visa Program and Self-Employed Person Federal Business Class Programs allow foreigners who meet eligibility requirements the chance to run new or pre-existing businesses in Canada. Provincial Nominee Program, PNP This program allows participating provinces and territories to nominate eligible economic immigration candidates for Canadian permanent residents. Quebec Skilled Worker Program and Quebec Business The province of Quebec runs its own immigration system outside the federal system. Family Class Programs Spousal-slash-common-law partner sponsorship and dependent child Parent and grandparents program Refugees and protected persons, humanitarian Protected persons in Canada and dependents abroad Privately sponsored refugees Blended Visa Office Referred Government Assisted Refugees That's all for today. Thanks for watching the entire video. Hopefully the information is useful to you. See you later in the next episodes. Till then, take care.